Peter McRae. Black magic. Just like he likes his name, eh? What's up, guys? Steve again from RC Tanks and Trucks 24-7 here with another unboxing of a pretty cool car. A blue crate here, obviously, you all know the guy. What's up? One fifth scale. What did they call you last time? Don. Could you are. He's yeah. good. He's good. Um, look at the uh, screen's going crazy. Um, but anyway, we have the new Roven F5 one fifth scale four wheel drive on road, ready to run, 36cc RC car. Now I think it's pretty cool. I haven't seen many videos. Uh, Bodagel. 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 Uh, Bodagel. Big fancy from Australia. I've um, seen your videos. I know you got the black one there. Looks awesome. But uh, here we have the blue one. Once you go black. <laughs> How's it got <coffee> anyway? <laughs> Let's stick to the. Let's stick to the. Let's stick to the script. All right, now here it is. Yeah, uh, that's one thing here. We don't do scripts. We just let it roll. All right, right. I'll hold it. You want to hold it? Let's go. Right, here we go. Here we go. Hey, look at this. Here we go. So obviously this is how it comes straight out of the packaging. Where's the box, Steve? The box looks like the Courier guy went like this. <laughs> it was made. Couldn't wait. And I think what happened as well, it got. Crushed, or it was used as a doorstop for like the hangar at the airfield. I'm not too sure, and I think it busted the, or just some of the rear shock oil came out. That's about it. Oh, shit. <coughs> <laughs> anyway, this is how it comes out of the box. All right. So it's still got the protective film on it, and you also do get stickers, but we'll go through that in a little bit. Let's just, let's leave this part for the meantime. What we'll oh. go through from the radio now. <laughs> I know it's a boring stuff. I know a lot of people are going to say, hey, mm. um, it's a cheap radio for a big car, yes it is, but that's probably what keeps the price down, you know. It keeps the price down so you can get the car, that's pretty cool. But then you can just upgrade to, to your own, what is it? Transmitter. So it is a three channel transmitter, four AA batteries. It is electronic, it does have a fail safe already installed, everything's uh, ready to rock and roll. So if, you, if this, something goes wrong with this and it loses power, the car brakes will go on. It's got a little screen there as well, so it's got your, your Chill rates, all that kind of good stuff. Everything you recommend, the TX and the RX is on. So when you turn the RX, the receiver you're on, it should show you the voltage on that as well. But there we go there, nothing too fancy. It does say that it comes with a flight guide in the uh, description, but it doesn't. Well, my one didn't anyway. I think Butterjaws did. Oh, mm. I think his one. I believe you uh, press a button and it transforms into a butterfly. <laughs> you also get these cool. Yes. These are really good. These are cool. These are really cool. So you open this up and it's got its own little spout and stuff in there. Lucre, that is yours. Thank you very much. And you also get a oh. shirt. Extra large. Right. Sorry, mate. Yeah. Not for you, Lucre. Mm. Maybe yours. when I was 10. You had a wing as well for the body. That's oh. good. And Downforce time. Uh, yeah, maybe, eh? It's hardware fixed as well, so not just body pins. And... Oh, the goodies bag. Yeah, the goodies bag. So like a little show bag. Goodies. What's good though, it's, um, it didn't say in the description, but you also get, check out this, spare. What? I oh, know, eh? No way. It's like Christmas. You get a spare. Who? Pool, pool start. What? A, uh, <laughs> oh, um, a net, spare air filter. <laughs> Foam. Steven. Your trickle charger for your four and a half thousand milliamp hour nickel metal hydro battery for the cars and electronics for the two 40 kilo steering servos. That's what? Yeah, 40 kilos in play and one 40 kilo uh, throttle and brake servos also. It's got the same servo for the uh, throttle and brake. Obviously, it just needs one, but 40 kilos for all three servos. So wow. Four and a half thousand milliamp hour nickel metal hydro battery. So that's, that's pretty cool, cool, man. It is. So that should for, be. Nice. Uh, for an RTR. For an RTR, exactly, guys. So, yeah, that should last a fair bit. Also, we also get an, a spare 8,000 no RPM clutch. What? Yep, so I don't know if they're expecting it to go bang, but I have the Roman Q Shorty, which is this guy here, which has the same clutch. Yeah, remember that. Smaller motor, I think it's 30cc or 32. Maybe 29 or 32. Yeah, maybe one of those. But that has the same clutch, and that oh. still goes strong. Oh, I mean, you know what it might do? While we're here, heat, put the heat wrap uh, around. Of course, of course. Because this guy has a stainless steel pipe. Yes. Okay. Ouchie. So, full stainless steel uh, exhaust, no aluminium, so it'll last forever pretty much. Stainless steel, mm -hmm. awesome exhaust material. So, spare clutch. 
which is good. And you get your standard array of tools. Um, you, you also, what's that? That's for your wheels. And also, this is for tightening up and mm -hmm. loosening your, um, what are they called? The shocks. Yeah. So when you're doing maintenance, you can stand it up and stuff like that. I found that out. That's pretty cool. Here's a big boy spanner for you, Lucre. You can take that for your <laughs> Primal RC when you get it. Spark plug wrench. And, oh, actually, this is pretty cool. This They're actually really good tools, eh? People kind of uh, bin them, but... No, you know what? This is a good tool. They're all multi-purpose. Check out that bad boy. Shiny. So that's nice. It's got all different ones in there as well, so... I believe in metric as well. A little bit of a pry tool Ooh. for your beers. Okay, and you got a, I think, another five... Spark plug got a real more valve. Yeah. And you got like a five set Allen key as well. Some other spare hardware. Looks like oh boots. So they're nice. CV boots. Ah, dude. So you got CV boots and a lot of uh, looks like uh, O-rings for the shocks and spare body clips and all that kind of stuff. So I might need that for the rear shock if it's busted. Anyway, it's Excuse in there. Me? Busted. Oh, let's uh, let's uh, pause this video and read all this. Yeah, how about no? So that's this is just a single page one. Tell you what it is. So 36 cc, two pulse, four point fired gas lead engine, stainless steel pipe lock, pipe like we said before. Yeah, and that you can read that later on yep, for me. That's Craig. correct. And that's a five millimeter um, CNC mach uh, machined alum aluminium or aluminium chassis. So five millimeter. It's also got six uh, seven millimeter meter seven millimeter shock shaft. <laughs> And seven millimeter uh, drive shafts as well, so pretty beefy. And uh, high grip, flat tire. So that's no, that's pretty crap. Then I don't want to <laughs> run. Run will they run soft? Mm -hmm. Here's the uh, manual. Pretty basic F5. stuff. Five. I know what everyone's saying, eh, Steve? What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> yes. So it's in Chinese or Chinglish. So it's got a fair few stuff. It tells you basic starting of the engine. Um, run only 25 to 1 uh, fuel mixture, yada yada, and if you've ever blow it up, hit a gutter, you can always put it back together with the exploded diagram. But, enough of that, let's go see the car itself, and we'll get rid of all this. I was going to read that manual, Steve. Yeah, I better do that before we start it, eh? Yeah. Just in case. Okay, now the body is it's cool. It's got two, four, six, eight, ten <clears throat> body clips or body Hold mounts. Hold on. Yes. Two at the front. Four on the sides. Four. So six. Two here. Eight. And two more at the back. So ten. Jeez, you don't want to be in a rush. I did go to school. Like it's on an old school nitro where you put the body on. Could be rush in the stalls. <laughs> <laughs> but no, it's really nicely fixed, that's for sure. And a lot of guys in the, um, I've done a video before uh, on the channel, say so what's coming up. I recommend cutting a hole here. Ah, uh, yes, for a bit of airflow. It's, it's, it's if it's really, legal, Steve. Yeah, it's absolutely legal. Um, it's really compact and tightly, it's like a tightly packed kebab. No one likes oh, a loosely packed kebab. Dude. Don't go there. Here we go. So here's the body, really nice. Like I said before, it's got the uh, protective film on it. It does include... Hey, where's the stickers? Stickers. Did I even show the stickers? Did I have stickers? I don't think I had stickers. That, that's it. Take it back. Call them up. I need my stickers. So maybe it's in the maybe it's in the box. I'll, I'll double check. But you can get stickers for the uh, windows and all that kind of stuff. But actually, I like it without it. You're a non-sticker kind of guy, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, I am. I'm a plain Jane. Yeah. You're like a white can spray paint. One colour. See, look at all that. Pierce one, Pierce one, Pierce one. You think so? <laughs> you think so? Look at that guy. Yeah, he's not going to win awards. What? This might win awards for... Um, How did you do that, Steve? You took the body off and now it's an MCD. It is. Oh, oh. Did I say MCD or did I say Roman? <laughs> right, I'm going to get my coffee. Yes, it does look like a... Um, you got it? Yeah, you can take it. It does look it. like an MCD. And mm. I'm not too sure. Look, I'm going to reserve judgment, like I said before, for the other cars. They no. might... Have approached MCD, or they might have the rights, or they might have paid for it. I'm not too sure, but anyway. Oh wow! Let's not go there. First time I've seen it, Steve. This is Luke Ray has not seen it, and he does love the one fifth scale, and it's it's kind of um, wearing off on me too. I'm really starting to like the larger scale cars. But what we have here, as you can see, 36 cc Roven, uh, well, two stroke motor, nice stainless steel pipe. A quick little question for you, Stephen. Yes. Have you added anything onto this car? No. 
So you haven't put this pipe on? Nothing. It's a hack to the handle. No, nothing. This is honestly, guys, how it comes stock out of the box. And for the price, check out the link in the description when you go check it out. I think it's pretty good value, Luke, right? Well, Things like this, like the controller, which you use as a paperweight, yeah, you, know, you can let that fly because normally with these cars, you'll change them out. But I think it's pretty decent. Like, it has a lot of nice running gear. Here are the uh, two 40 kilo servos running in tandem, so that gives you 80 kilos all up, obviously. Same 40 kilo uh, brake and throttle servo with a nice. Wow. Yeah, aluminium. For this horn. video, we're going to call it aluminium. Al alim uh, I can now keep getting confused. Aluminium steering arm or throttle horn. These ones are plastic, but they can also be easily be changed out. But that's nice to see straight out of the box. Dual. Wow. Yep, dual, absolutely. Under here is your three channel receiver on and off switch. You've got two front and rear brake discs with a center spur gear. And it's got front and rear differentials, obviously, with hardened uh, metal gears. I'm not too sure if they're cnc would probably not, probably just metal, metal, uh, what's it called, metal, uh, what's um, AVE, so, mm, yeah. powdered, powdered metal, yeah. wanna, do you want to be dull and get that for me? Sure, sir. Underneath there is the uh, 4,500 milliamp hour nickel metal hydride battery, nothing crazy to see, but just wanted to show you, it does include, because um, it, it does come with a charger, it also has like a nice little charging port, so you can just lift this up. Me and battery covers, eh? There we go. go. Back. Raven battery, and it's also got the uh, Tamiya plug or Molex plug ready to rock and roll. Now, further look down here, we have 7mm front and rear drive shafts. As you can see, it connects to the center spur gear where the two brake rotors are, all the way to the front and rear differential, just like a normal 1 10th, 1 8 scale car. And you also have 7mm thick drive shafts here as well. Now, they are I believe CVD in up here, I believe, are they? They certainly do look like it, with the normal dog, dog bone in the middle there. And that's why you get those boots. Well, you get those boots, maybe you can put them on if you want to. You know those boots that came with it? Yeah. They definitely, that well, looks is like. four? Yeah. Is there four of them? Oh, that's definitely a CVD well, at the rear. Yeah, well, there's four wheels normally on a car, eh? Oh, this guy. <laughs> so there you go. So it's obviously got CBD. Front and rear. Really bulky, chunky ass uh, tie rods. turnbuckles yeah. and tie rods, aren't they? And the good thing about these, the parts are all available on Roven. And also MCD. So you've got two options, Luke Cray. You've got two options. And also, sorry, on Roven, hey Luke Cray, I noticed on Roven's website, they have the Primal RC. Have you oh, noticed? Really? Yeah, they have the uh, uh, one of big link uh, banner on the actual website. So maybe they're being a distrib distributor. I'm not too sure. But Roven has it on their website. I saw it this morning. But anyway, what else we have here? Nice big juicy ass uh, front and rear. Well, it's part of the integral, uh, the body design, isn't it? It's got a nice diffuser. Well, we'll flip it upside down in a minute. But let's just have a nice quick look here. As you can see, let me put this back on. Yeah, put that bit, put that back so we can flip, diffusers, flip it around. Man, isn't it? It's also got a Warbro 1107 carburetor. Yeah, how's that, eh? So, you, what's the what's the benefit of that, Luke? 1107. Yeah, is there any? Is that just standard kicker boodle, or is that a decent? Oh, for a decent size 36 cc, but it's got the uh, choke on it as well. <laughs> yep, we don't want to choke. You know what you're doing. Man, every time. Every time. There's like a little latch at the at the back. Voila! As my mates would say. It looks cool though. So that plastic is the fuser and the on the side as well. So they, it kind of wraps it around. So it gives you good aerodynamics. You want to flip it <clears throat> up for me, Luke, right? We can see the bottom of it. So we go there. See the kind of unique design? That's a five millimeter thick CNC aluminum chassis. Nicely countersunk as you'd expect, but here's a rear diffuser. Does look sweet. And you can see how it kind of comes up here. So I don't know if it's, well, it's designed obviously to help with the downforce and maybe stability, high speed stability. I do believe you can get um, two speed kits for this. Wow. Yeah. Here's a good look underneath of the shocks. They are aluminium. And uh, if we'll put that down, I'll give you a close look at that shock. There we go. There. So our threaded aluminium coilover shocks or aluminium. Nice, fat, juicy design. And also it has. Um, uh, what are they called again? Droop screws, which I've lowered it a little bit. And when you get it from the factory, it comes up quite high, like a rally cross car, another probably centimeter higher than what it currently is at the moment. 
But yeah, it's got droop screws ready to rock and roll. If we want to, let's flip it around. Flip it around the other side before I flip you off. <laughs> and look at that cool exhaust. <clears throat> that nice, eh? Hey? Remember, Luke Ray, no four stroke, just two stroke. <laughs> right? 25 to 1. So, 1107 carburetor, it's got your choke, obviously, a nice air filter design here as well, and it does come with a spare. Looks like it's got two air filters. Yeah, so it's a triple stage, or well, it looks like a dual stage. Dual stage, that's okay, dual stage air filter. But there you go, it's got a nice, what's that, uh, a ram type of effect that rams it in there, it kind of compresses the. Sure does. So that helps in. Uh, Unlike the uh, velocity stacks that people use. Okay, it's got a nice. Uh, can't believe that's a Warbro. Yeah, well, it says on there, it says 1107 on the spec. So if any other of you guys have this, let us know. Have a look at the close look at the front of the car here. It's just like a massive 1.8 scale. Can't believe it's 36 cc's. Yep. And, and here we uh, have. How heavy was it, Steve? Can you oh, remember? Let me go. Uh, I know, have the. Uh, what are you thinking? It's not too heavy. 14? Maybe. 14 kilos, which is like 5 million pounds or something. Yeah. Nice aluminium uh, nuts and everything. It looks nice. I do like the wheels. The wheels on the MCD are different than these. Apparently people say they need to, need to change these over because they're yeah, not the they, best. They, 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 they seem they, they're going to slide a lot. Yeah, they seem very, very hard. On Bertagel's video, he was sliding around like that. Was he using the stock ones? I think he, they, I think he I think was out of the box. They recommended no, I think changing them. Change oh, okay. I think he did change them. If you're watching, yeah. let us know because I know someone recommended you change them. But it's a really hard comp here. They are. Tarmac busters. Well, there you go. <laughs> Do you want to turn? That's what they're called, but they are bead, they are beadlock rims. Nice. You're probably going to need it for the amount of force it's going to be going yeah. through. It's cool design here with the uh, stainless steel pipe running down here, down to the side of the uh, under the chassis. Have you heard of an RTR to get it a. Is. Instead of the old uh, black box they have on the motors. Man, this should be loud as shit, eh? A tuned pipe. I wonder if it's going to be loud or louder than the uh, shorty. That thing was crazy loud. Yeah, but look at your pipe here. Look at this, thing. They've got a breather on it. Out of okay. the box. So what's That's the benefit cool. of that, Luke, right? Uh, just vent your uh, fuel. So there's no, you don't need to do that. That's a small little breather hole. Yeah. Ready to rock and roll. Okay, what else we have here? You can see from your... Um, yeah. Oh, okay, there we go, on and off switch. What can you see also mm. from your expertise of oh, one-fifth scale? It looks pretty uh, like a car, Steve. It does, it does. Juicy, huge. Yeah, it's got a nice little... Uh, Gears down there, it's hard to see. But this, so this the, whole uh, tray can easily come out as well. housing. Yep. Looks pretty nice. Pretty beefy? Yep. Okay. Looks uh, casted. Okay. Let's see how it's hidden in the centre diff. It's definitely a centre different. No, no centre different. I think. I think it's just a straight. Um, oh, it is straight. Straight. So it's got front and rear differentials with a. It's a it's solid front and rear. Yep, that's it. So you can also always tune it up if you want to put thicker or or less viscosity in the, each of those diffs to perform a different way. Look, I'm no expert at this, guys, but uh, I'm just looking here. It does have some nice adjustability in the the lower A arm, so you can also change it there. And it also has another position up here if you want to change the uh, position of the shocks as well. But these look quite thick. They look a good, what, 10 millimeter thick uh, plastic at the bottom and the hub carriers and all that. They're all, that is plastic. But you'll probably be able to get these in metal. I never I never upgrade these in uh, aluminium. No. The hub carriers and stuff like that, maybe. Or the center brace, I saw that you can get the center brace here. Yeah, maybe. That'll be the... sick, the front and rear center brace. Yep. But what I, I want to do is just leave it all stock. Might wrap the header. Or the exhaust, sorry, and yeah. that's it. Just for... It's cold. Yeah. <laughs> so you know. What do you reckon, Luke Ray? We put some 25 mix in there. Yeah, let's go. And uh, get on the ground. Best See you in a bit. We'll put it on the floor and uh, do its first start. Okay, we're back. Have a tough ship just put on the ground. Fill it up with about maybe 250 mil of... Uh, yeah, we octane. didn't fill it all the way up. 98 octane. So we still got to run it in, yeah? In Australia, we get pretty good fuel here. Yeah. Uh, it's pretty readily available. Um, on the A, we're using a uh, motor, 800, oil, yep. nothing so but the best. 25 to 1, have not touched anything. So in the manual, they recommend one tank just driving slowly, which, you know, whatever. I might start it, do a few heat cycles. I'm not going to show that running process. If you want to watch that video, you can go check it out for the uh, Roman Shorty Baja. I think they've done something similar. It's not exciting. You know, I watch every second of the break-in, <laughs> Steve. 
So basically with any kind of car, you always want to turn the transmitter on obviously first. We've got to prime the bulb. So it's on guys. So throttle. Get some fuel in there. We've uh, checked the brake. So you can see the fuel running through. It doesn't matter how much time you pump it, you're not going to do any damage, you're not going to overfill it. There we go there, I think it's got a lot. Now they recommend to put the choke on, the first start, and give it a few, few, uh, give it a few pulls until you hear it pop. And once you hear it pop, take the choke back off and then you should be ready to rock, rock the casbah. So let's go. You're on camera Steve. I am, first time, I have not touched it. Prime it. Oh. Oh, oh there we go. Oh, hey. Hello. Ready? Should I take my finger off the throttle? <laughs> yeah. Take it back. <laughs> Ready? Come on. Oh. Again, so I think that was pretty. I reckon that was around about <clears throat> 85, 90 dB. You reckon? So yeah, it's, I don't think it's as loud as that. It's uh, I don't think it's as loud as a shorty. No, the shorty but it's loud. very high pitched. Yeah, so, brand new. So let's start it again. Yeah, get another heat cycle through it. Easy. <clears throat> that was a kill switch, obviously. You saw there, everything should be much easier to start now. <laughs> Pretty cool. Yeah, I do like it. I don't think there's much to say more for this video. I'm not going to bore you guys with that. I'll get a few heat cycles in, take it to a car park, um, and just give it a bit of a wrap. Well, uh, next video you see on this, we'll definitely take it out. We've got to find somewhere to go. Yeah. Let's go. We've got to go together with this car. I don't feel right going just by, by myself. This is me and you. Okay. So next time you'll see us, we'll. Uh, We'll take it to a nice big oven park, already running, and uh, we'll see how it performs. We've got to get a kill switch. Yeah, what brand is it? Killer B. Killer, Killer RC. Killer, Killer RC. B. We'll go to Oscar, our friendly, only place we really shop here in Australia for parts. If you're watching, Oscar, we'll uh, order me one of those, please. And uh, yeah, we'll see how it runs. But any questions, please leave them down below. If you guys have this or um, have the MCD and know any or pretty much good upgrades to do straight away, let us know. If you recommend getting the uh, leaving it stock and just running it, let us know. Or just like basic aluminium upgrades like the uh, chassis brace and little things like that. Do you, have you wrapped the exhaust? Which is something I probably want to do, so yeah. Oh, oh wrap. No, wrap oh, right. as in the, the thing right. on the exhaust. Yeah, yeah. You want about? yeah. Um, <clears throat> yeah please let us know, but... Uh, there is a uh, 1 8 one track. Uh, 
Warbank? We need somewhere in Australia where it has everything. Yeah. yeah mm -hmm. Don't we have one of those? No. You would assume you would. You would think so. We need someone that has one fifth, one eighth, drift. We need something like that. <laughs> but we don't. Um, maybe one day in the future. But we'll definitely go to a big car park and give it a good go. Get you on the controls. I reckon you could jump it. Mm. Mm. Well, you can't. The MCD has a rallycross version. It's very similar to this, it's just a bit higher. It's a kind of a different body. Uh, I think the, uh, maybe the chassis is the same. Let, let me guys know in the description, but it's, it's higher, so you probably could. Steve, uh, what's mm. the price point on this? Hold this. Let me check. It also got a new Luke Ray. Oh, I told him about the Sen. Oh, that thing. Yeah, what, do you, what are we doing with the Sen? You don't want to know about the Sen. Don't want to know about the Sen? What are you doing, Steve? I'm just checking the price, but the price point currently is eight ninety nine US. So wow, that's pretty good. What's an MCD around about three, four thousand Australians? I don't know. Oh, Twenty bucks US, no. something. Oh yeah, I would not have a clue. Well, that's right so at the moment. Eight ninety nine US, which is about thirteen hundred Australian. Mm. That's pretty good, man. Out of the box. I mean, what did you? He uh, threw it on the tracks. No, if he did stop, you're gonna have to watch. No, it he again. did. He didn't. He didn't want to change anything. Probably just change yeah, the tires. Yeah, we should have a go. Probably yeah, tires. Probably something a bit stickier, softer. Mm. Made for on road. For the, for the black stuff. Mm. Okay. We'll see how it goes. Your screen. That is screen. I hope it's not doing it on the actual camera. Yeah. But the viewfinder's flipping. Uh, what is it? Flipping sides. Yes, yeah, go. Blah, 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 blah. Anyway. I think that's us. Big things coming up for this guy. Primal RC. <laughs> that's going to be good. Maybe we can get the motor out of this and put it in the uh, <laughs> Primal RC. That'll fit. Isn't that brushless? Shh. It's like 2S. 2S. Two, one on each wheel. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you enjoyed Luke Ray. Oh, we always do. What do you know? That's how we do it here. We don't do scripts. We just have a fun time, muck around. And uh, don't take the hobby. That might, that might be my my uh, well, this catchphrase. Is, this is on road, man. I might be my catchphrase. Don't take the hobby too seriously. Those weird on road guys. Yeah. <laughs> that might be. Don't take it too seriously. Just have fun. Everyone has their own opinion about things. That's yeah. fine. Who cares? Yes. If you don't like something, that's fine. No one's forcing you to do it. Yeah. So yeah, appreciate it. See you in the next video, guys, and uh, have a good day.